Good morning, afternoon, or evening. I just want to bring you a short tutorial on how you can upload an image that is not an SVG directly into Cricut Design Space and still create your different layers that you're needing um, because it's more than one color. So first thing we're going to do is we are in Cricut Design Space and we're going to click the Upload button. Once I click Upload, I'm going to upload an image. And here it's going to let me browse or you can minimize this, or not minimize it, make it smaller and have another window and just drag and drop. But I just browse because that's pretty easy for me to do. And we're going to do this Monarch Butterfly because I love butterflies. So on this screen, for a complex, um, just you can kind of look at the image and see which one looks most like your original. Um, we're just going to go ahead and go with this one because in this case it's really it's really not going to matter. And we're going to hit continue. So now here is where the magic is going to happen on this screen right here. A lot of people just get here and they hit continue. And what happens is you're going to end up with just a box right here. You see that box? And that's not really going to do you any good. So you have to do the magic on this screen. And I call it magic because well, if you see right here, this kind of looks like a magic wand. It's the Select and Erase tool. It's pretty cool. It reminds me of like in Photoshop when you can just click and everything that, that is that color um, gets selected. Well, this kind of does the same thing. It's going to go ahead and select everything that's similar to that color and it's going to remove it for you. So, this is also something pretty cool, the advanced options. A lot of people don't click on this. But you can reduce your number of colors. You can also change your color tolerance. The color, excuse me, the color tolerance is what tells your um, magic wand how wide of the color spectrum that you're wanting to grab. So the smaller your color tolerance, then the closer to the, that color that you actually click on that it's going to grab. The larger your color tolerance. Well, then, you know, it's going to be able to get some more of the gradients or shading that's similar to that color that's attached to it. So, I usually bump this up to about 100, and then I increase it or decrease it if I need to. Okay, so, you can also, like I said, you can reduce your colors. In this case, I've got two colors. Um, usually, you can go one above how many you have, because I think if I do two, see, well, which in this case, that would work. Um, but, you know, it, it two gives you one color, three gives you two colors. That's kind of what I found. Um, so you can do that, or you can just leave it the way it is and just work with the color tolerance. So now I'm going to go ahead and get, make sure I have my magic wand, and I'm going to start erasing. So I'm going to start with this outside area. So I've gotten rid of what we call the background. And if you preview it, you can see that that would work if I wanted a single color image. Um, or if I wanted to do print and cut, I would get rid of that background so then it would print the butterfly and it would cut just along the edges. But I don't. I want to actually cut this out in two different colors. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the orange. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit because I'm old and my eyes don't work great. And I'm going to start clicking on all of this orange. Sorry, I wish I could fast forward this or have some really groovy music on for you. So just bear with me as I'm clicking here. Okay. So I've clicked the orange. I've gotten rid of the background. I can preview it right here and make sure that it looks like what I'm wanting it to look like. And it does. So I can go and hit my continue button. You have two options. You can do a save as print and then cut or save as a cut. But like I said, since I am going to actually cut this out, I'm going to go ahead and save it as a cut image. If you mess up here and you leave it as print then cut, no big deal. You can change it later in your layers tab as long as um, you did get rid of everything. So now I'm going to change this to black layer. And I'm going to save it. 
You're probably thinking, um, she's only got one color there. Yes. So now what I have to do is I've got to go and upload the same image again. And this is because I've got another color to work with. So this time, though, since I kept the black last time, I'm going to make this again. I'm going to change my color tolerance. And I'm going to get my magic wand, get rid of the background, and then get rid of the black. And now I'm just left with the orange. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. Oh, see that doesn't look very good. So I'm going to go back. That's what I get for not previewing it, right? So I'm going to bump it up even more. And there we go. So now it looks more like what I wanted it to look like. Save it as a cut, and then I'm going to call this orange. You can call it inside, outside. Um, it doesn't matter. I'm just doing orange because that's what color it originally was. So now I have my inside layer and my outside layer. I'm going to select both of them, and I'm going to insert them onto my project map. And I'm going to change the color of this one so I can see the difference. Okay, so now if I know that I want my image to be five inches wide, I can't just change one of these because what's going to happen is then I might not know exactly what to change the other one to. So it's best to go ahead and line them up how they go, or you can just select them and align them horizontally and vertically. And even though they're not lined up, my larger image is dominant here. So I can change the width on it to 5. So it's, it scaled them together. And then I can come in and move to where they over, they're in their right spot. So if that's all you want to do, you can stop here, you can cut, and you can go from there. I'm weird and I like to do what I call a weeding box. It helps for two reasons. First, it helps me have a rectangle or a square around my um, image that's going to get cut out. So it helps me when I'm weeding. Um, but most importantly, it helps when I'm lining up these pieces um, to layer them on my finished product. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. So I come over here to Shapes and I'm going to put a square in. I'm going to take what I created, I'm going to group it together, and I see that it's 5 inches wide. So I need to make sure that this is just a little, I'm going to unlock this, just a little bit more than 5. So it's a little bit wider and a little bit taller. Okay, And I need two of them because I had two layers. If you remember, I had orange and black, so I'm going to duplicate that. Move that to the back. So now I'm going to take everything. I'm going to align it horizontally and vertically. Okay. Now I'm ready to actually make these weeding boxes work for me. I'm going to take my group and ungroup it. Everything's in the exact same spot. So over here, my layers tab. I'm going to grab my black. And I'm going to grab one of the squares by holding down my shift key. And I'm going to attach those. So those have been attached together now. I'm going to move them out of my way. Now I'm going to take my other piece of butterfly and my other square. Actually, it's a rectangle. And I'm going to attach those. So now, when I go to cut out, it's going to cut this box around. And it's going to cut my pieces on the inside. So I'll actually be weeding this area between the box and the butterfly wings. Um, and that'll help me, again, whenever I get ready to line them up, I'll have a straight edge here on all four sides that I can match up with both pieces and layer them exactly where they're supposed to go. So that is how I take an image that I find, and I can just upload it into Project Design Space without having to create an SVG, um, just using the tools that Cricut has provided. And then as a little, the little bonus was showing you how I make a weeding box 
to make weeding these easier, uh, which again helps save on vinyl and it saves some, uh, some headache when you go to layer. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, see you next time.